organization, Asian Health Services, is a federally qualified community health center that's located in Oakland Chinatown. And we were part of the partnership. We actually applied to be a subcontract to provide medical and mental health services to Peralta. It's a wonderful partnership, um, and we are happy that it's happening. And I think that what the services that will be provided will be much broader than were provided previously. Peralta Community College District really has sort of uh, some of the heart and soul of, of our county um, in terms of it's uh, over more than 26,000 students. Just giving regular medical coverage is very, very expensive these days. And in order for me to even go to an emergency room, it's a balance of whether I can or should I, and then that's jeopardizing my health, and that shouldn't be something that any student should be going through. There actually are close to about 30% of Peralta students who currently do not have any health insurance, and so um, that's essentially what our organization and the county are really looking to provide, is a valuable resource for those folks who may not know what's accessible to them, and a site that's convenient for them to, to access those on their campus. With the institution of the health fee, we were able to become involved in a unique partnership with community providers. And what this provides us is uh, trained professionals and depth of staffing and uh, expertise that were not available just on the campuses to this time. I would really hope that we would get many more practitioners on board maybe have a doctor for a few hours as well as more mental health counselors because that's a huge need. And to really bring health services up to a level where we will become a benchmark for the nation. That's, that's what I would love. But again, it's a, a unified vision that would have to bring that about. Every student shouldn't have to worry about their medical condition and how that's going to prevent them from going to school. It should be, I can go to school, period, whether I'm sick or if I don't have it, or if I'm feeling healthy. It, it shouldn't matter. As healthcare professionals, we treat students not only medically, but we treat them psychologically, spiritually, uh, sociologically. We attend to their needs in all respects. We treat the whole person. I know a lot of people that struggle with many, many different issues, whether it be their obesity or alcoholism. Um, all these diseases uh, are totally preventable. And with the right education, which is just crucial to many aspects of life, um, these diseases can totally be prevented. Get people to start taking care of their lives now it's going to prevent a lot of disability and a lot of hardship, emotional and financial, later on in life. One of the key uh, aims of the program is health education. So hopefully, not only do we impact people while they're presently students here at the colleges, that we give them lifelong tools that they can understand and pursue healthy objectives. The care system is really going to transform uh, during the next four to six years as healthcare reform rolls out and I think a big part of that really um, is more of a focus on the patient and in our case uh, the student. Mm -hmm.